Hey folks, David Stewart here. So is it like this? Or is it like this? Um, let's talk a little bit about string bending and the old thumb technique. Now, um, I got a question. It's like, uh, how do you bend strings without wrapping your thumb around the neck as you transition to seven or eight string guitar? And the answer is um, the way I just demonstrated. You bend strings with your thumb behind the neck. You don't have to have your thumb wrapped around the neck to bend strings. Um, I know a lot of people are really comfortable maybe with some techniques that involve like the thumb wrapping around the neck, uh, but you don't have to do that. Um, all you have to do to change that technique, if you wanna change that technique and get used to doing all kinds of string bends with your thumb behind the neck, uh, like mine is, is you have to change the plate of motion that's happening for the string bend. Um, when you do it like this, either pushing or pulling, um, you're moving along a plane relative to your thumb. And that plane is gonna be the, the tips of the fingers coming towards uh, the middle of the thumb or this big joint of the thumb like this, either going away like this or coming towards. Let's see if I can get the great hand. There you go, like this. That's the plane of motion. All you have to do is change the plane of motion so you're going a, like past the thumb is what you wanna imagine. So it's you imagine your fingertips coming towards the middle of the big joint and they're moving past the thumb. Um, just like, I'll put it up here, just like this, okay? That's the plane of motion when you start doing um, string bends here. Whatever it is. Whatever uh, direction you happen to be doing it in, you're moving past here. Now, um, some people feel real secure with this, like I said, but in some cases, you'll find that you can bend further without the, the thumb in the way, simply because um, there's more strength and there's more room for your fingers to travel. When there's a little bit of space in between your fingers and the neck, uh, boy, they can stretch a lot further to push that note even higher, right? Versus this you can run into your thumb right there. So there are some advantages to having your thumb behind the neck as well. Um, I will say though that uh, you don't have to rewrite every single part of your technique just because I do it differently or, or because somebody else says, you know, you should really keep your thumb behind the neck. Um, if it's not bothering you to be switching from a neutral hand position uh, to thumb over the neck uh, to do bends or some other technique you wanna do, um, then don't worry about it, right? Technique is there to serve the music, not the other way around. Um, but you may encounter some music at some point where doing this transition is just maybe too difficult to do quickly, in which case you're gonna to wanna to practice doing this. Or you may transition to an instrument that has a, a, a broader neck that's a little harder to wrap the thumb around. Um, especially if you're doing a sort of reachy kind of stuff where you really do need your thumb behind the neck. If you're, if you're gonna be like, something like that, um, to, to then switch to try to get that bend in there, that might be really difficult, so. Um, whereas just doing it with your thumb behind the neck becomes a little bit easier. A um, couple more tips about string bending in general. Um, I find that uh, you know the first string is really easy to bend. I'm sorry, the first finger is really easy to bend any string with. Um, but the uh, as you go up the up the the hand to the fourth finger, it becomes more difficult to bend the string because that finger is a little weaker. It kind of you know this joint you can see kind of wants to collapse when I do it on my own. So I find if you support with an extra finger or two, it really helps. Um, likewise, if you wrap your thumb around the neck, you may find that the pinky can't travel quite as well as it can when the thumb's behind the neck. I could do a little bit of a further bend when my thumb's behind the neck because I have a little bit more leverage here, okay? Now, another thing I wanted to mention is that I, I talk about arm weight occasionally, um, and arm weight means that you're pressing the strings down with the weight of your arm pressing, uh, not just your hand gripping. I think that's why a lot of people like this grippy thumb thing early on, is it feels real secure to grip the guitar this way. Um, but uh, eventually, you can learn to, to play this sort of stuff without really even touching the neck at all. My, um, my thumb isn't touching right here, but um, even with the bad note. Uh, but when I do play, my thumb is really just sort of a guide. It's a guide to, what, um, to where I'm at on the neck and my orientation of my hand. And then when I want to do the bend, I just have a little bit more grip on the thumb. I use a little bit more hand strength and um, everything sort of 
becomes easy to do. Okay, um, so there's something there. Uh, the other thing is uh, when you're on the the highest three strings, you usually want to push so you can because if you pull. You can pull it right off the fingerboard. Um, and if you're on the lowest three strings, you usually want to pull. So you have a little bit more room to bend the string. And lastly, you can also combine that with use of the tremolo bar to create even more effects. Um, so I use my trim bar to do a lot of bending as well, not just the hands, just depending on what sort of effect you want um, to get like, you know, the sort of dime bag Daryl squeals, um, you can use your trim bar to do that um, as well. So anyway, that's sort of my tips on there. You don't have to rewrite all your technique, but it might be time um, to practice a little bit with uh, the neutral thumb position that is the thumb behind the neck. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't uh, forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you want to see and what you want to hear. I'm usually happy to deliver, especially with stuff like advice, and I hope you guys will have um, a great, great day. All right, I'll see you guys next time.